Indiana probably misses you, but you probably don't miss Indiana at this point. Yeah, the weather's been great in California. I'm missing all those snowstorms. Um, I usually te text my brothers or my cousins all the time, like, hey, man, this is tank top weather. How's it down there? And they're like, oh, we're getting 12 inches of snow. <laughs> Talk through a little bit about the, the change because let's be honest here, you look like a, a different fighter yesterday at the weigh-in. I'm sorry, with the spiked hair, your, your walkout music is different. Is this all like a new kind of persona for you? Are you going away from the blue collar, Darren Elkins? Because that's not how it looked in the fight. No, I'm not going away from the blue collar thing. The funny thing is everybody thinks the alpha males is what got me to do the mohawk. The story goes is my son got a mohawk and then he, when he, when he seen it, he started crying. Oh, I don't like my mohawk. I go, would it feel better if I get a mohawk? Yeah, I'll feel better. So um, I, I got a mohawk. He got a mohawk, and uh, I just kept with it. I like it. I like the mohawk. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I'm still a blue collar guy. I'm, I'm still the same guy. I'm never gonna change. It's just uh, I want to evolve my game. That's, that's the most important thing to me. And uh, I'm really enjoying the energy and the atmosphere at Team Alpha Male. I really click with these guys, and they got the great, greatest coaches I've ever worked with. So, I mean, it's just getting my game to the next level. And, uh, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But I was broke. I mean, I started losing these fights. I started not having great fights. So I needed to fix something. And uh, I feel like Team Alpha Male was a solution. It sounds to me like uh, everything what you just said there, Alpha Male is, you know, everything's going great. All we've been hearing in the media and everything is how, oh, it's falling apart and all this stuff with TJ and Uriah and everything. But from your perspective, it seems like things can be better. No, it's going great. I mean, if you go by uh, the team record this year, we're 6-0. Oh, you know, we're feeding off of Cody. Um, then I, I'm, I'm up. And then next we have Philly coming up. So we're all feeling off the energy of each other. I think a lot of it is because this media and down in the team and guys are rising up and, you know, I'm trying to push the team. I've been there for a while. I'm newer to the guys, but you know, I know what hard work and what it takes to be at the top level. I'm trying to teach these guys and then you know, involved with all the how many guys are out there. We're all just trying to step up our game and keep to be the number one team in the world. Was Chad Skelly a tougher opponent than you thought? I mean, he's very difficult to finish, and I know you were definitely looking for the finish in that one. I was definitely looking for the finish. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be easy to finish. I mean, he's, he's tough. I've seen him get rocked and just keep on fighting and finish other guys. Um, so I didn't think it was going to be an easy finish, but I thought I could finish him. I went for it, but he's a tough opponent, no doubt. What was it like when you uh, when you talked to the guys back home about, you know, hey, guess what? I'm moving to Team Alpha now. I mean, how did Keith take that? How did hey, you guys are a tight knit crew there? I mean, I, Keith, I, I consider Keith one of my best friends. I mean, it was hard for me, you know, looking and uh, making that change. You know, I had to talk to him, and uh, it was this Shockley. Shockley was retired. Um, we, we changed gyms, we, we got low numbers, there'd be days I only had two guys, three dot guys in the room to train with. It's just, it's tough when I'm trying to be the best in the world, but it's hard enough to get guys there. So that was a lot of it, you know, I talked to him about it, you know, I love the, the, the gym, I love them guys, but I need to be the best, and that wasn't really cutting anymore, and uh, I'm always wishing them the best, I'm trying to keep it, uh, talking with Keith all the time, I'll do anything for those guys, you know, Shockley, Keith, all them guys. But uh, I just needed to up my game, and that was that's what I had to have. You got the decision in this fight. Uh, a lot of your fights have been a decision. I know there's some people who want to criticize you for that or whatever. Do you feel the pressure of that at all, or is the main thing just getting the win? I, I feel some pressure off of it. I wanted to finish this fight. I mean, I, I feel like at least this wasn't a boring fight by any means. I was definitely going after it, throwing some strikes, mixing it up, trying to hit this guy hard. You know, some, some good stuff. I mean. I'm looking for the finish, and I'm close to getting them. I'm hoping a little bit longer with Alpha Mel, and I'll be putting these guys away. Anyone you want to fight next in particular? Uh, our motto at the team right now is Team Alpha Mel versus everybody, so I'm just ready to get it back in there, start training, and then, uh, get in a fight again, hopefully in the next few months. How close was he with, with, uh, with the leg submissions there in that, in that first round? It was not really close at all. I mean, we, you know, I worked with Holdsworth in my jiu-jitsu, and we watched him, it's you know, leg locks, leg locks, leg locks when he's on the ground. And I really felt like I was never in danger. There was no torque to the knee, no torque to anything. I mean, he, he got in tighter than I would have liked to see him, but there was no pressure on any of my knees or anything. I was, uh, I was fine in there. I felt comfortable. I've been in there a million times, so it was, I was fine. How about the, the coach's assessment of your performance? What were the, kind of their instant reaction afterwards since this was you know, your first full camp with those guys? Uh, they loved it, you know, I had some, some great moves that they've been calling out. I hit that uh, um, 
a slip cross I hit. I hit a, that kick in the, in the third round. Um, when, they went, when they told me to go for something, I went for it. So they were really happy about the performance. I'm really happy about the performance. Um, they're really happy to have me on the team. And like I said, I push everybody and they push me. And it's a great fit. We have a great personality and we clash well.